We was doing so good, like last week. Caught us making out in the backseat. You were running through my mind like a track meet. Now when I see you around, you be looking past me. You say that you moved on, well that swelled. And you begging me to come to your hotel. How'd I end up here again, baby? But oh well. I tell myself I won't, then I let myself down. Everything is changed, I know. It's like it ain't the same no more. The fast lane, Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Today, I've got another dope sneaker hack for you, man, and it involves the comfort of your Jordans. Before we get into the review, I do want to mention that you guys can get 30% off on these Hefe Lux insoles using the code underrated30. That is only going on through December 4th, man. It's today through December 4th for their Black Friday sale, 30% off. Hefelux.com, use the code underrated30. After December 4th, you can still use the code underrated and receive 10% off, but 30% through December 4th. Jordan 1s are one of my favorite pairs to wear as far as style goes, but they're not always the most comfortable shoe in the game. And so this video is gonna help you with not only your Jordan 1s, but maybe your Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, any other Jordans. So what happened is I started to find Jordan 1s kind of uncomfortable for a long day of walking. So I was like, I should be able to just throw a Dr. Scholl's in here. I should be able to do something to make this more comfortable. I tried a bunch of different insoles. None of them really lived up and they all changed. They didn't fit my foot correctly. So finally I settled for this insole called an air pillow. And all it is is just like extra cushioning. So I would just put that in my Jordan 1s, wear it until it wore out, throw it away, buy another one, and I would just continue to do that. Fast forward a few years, let me tell you guys about the Hefe Lux insole, man. This is an ETPU product. This is similar to Boost. I wouldn't say it's the exact same thing as Boost, but I would say it's very, very similar to Boost. As you can see, the Boost material there. This is kind of how the top looks. And this is only here just to uh, allow your foot to slide into the shoe easy. They didn't have this here, which I tried some other brands that did not have this on the top. And they were terrible to try to get your foot into the shoe. Your sock would stick to this material and it was just awful. So let's go back to the whole boost comfort. Is this gonna turn your Jordan 1 or your, your pair of Jordans into an ultra boost? No. Is it going to boost the comfort of your sneaker? Is it going to make it a lot more comfortable? Is it gonna give you a similar boost type of comfort? Yeah, and that's what we're here to talk about. There's a couple different sizes on the website. This is the original size, and there's one that's a little bit thicker than this. I recommend the original size if you're wearing a Jordan 1 that is true to size. If you have a shoe that maybe is a half size up, maybe it's a half size big, you got it from your older brother, you could only get the shoe in a half up, maybe, you know, whatever the case may be, man, we all have issues. Then you might wanna cop the deluxe version. The deluxe version is a little bit thicker, it does give you more padding, but again, if the shoe's true to size, it just makes it very hard to get on. Me personally, I go with the OGs, the original comes in this packaging kind of a space age type packaging you just cut the top off insoles are stacked in there like that you just pull them out very very simple the next thing you'll notice on the bottom here can you see that is that showing up on the bottom here you have these numbers I wear a size 12 so I'm cutting along the line where the 12 is at and it's a little bit jagged I mean it's not the greatest cutting job but as you can see I mean it got the it got the job done it fits fine so you just want to find your size here cut along there with some scissors. I would recommend like some barber scissors or some sharp scissors. It's not easy to cut, man. If you got your Fisher Price joints out here, you're gonna be struggling. The other huge benefit outside of comfort of adding a Hefe Lux insole to your Jordans or to your other sneakers is if you're someone that's in the game like me, you buy and sell sneakers all the time, this is gonna save your insoles, man. Let me show you what I mean. Look at this. This is the Jordan 1 Letterman. Not a super, super hyped sneaker by any means. Just a pair I had laying here around the studio. I love this pair. I wear them a ton. But one thing about these, they do have a cool insole. Let me show you what I'm talking about talking about. So you pull the insole out. These are the David Letterman Jordan 1. So it says on air. It's got the mic. Pretty sick right there, right? If you don't want to mess this insole up, you get the Hefe Lux insole. Look, Jordan 1s look like that inside. There's nothing in there. You put the Hefe Lux insole inside. I already cut it down to my size 12. It fits perfectly in the shoe. And now you're going to add that boost comfort to your sneaker, but you're also going to save your OG insoles. If you want to resell this shoe down the road, you might be able to have a little bit more value on it. Having the insole be all good, not having the Nike Air rubbed off or not having something cool like this rubbed off. A couple other elements. If you have your shoe a half size too big or something else you might want to try, if your shoes, for some reason, if you, you buy your size and you just have extra room, you may be able to throw the Hefe Lux on top of your Jordan 1 insole and save the insole that way and then add an extra bit of comfort. For me, as a true to size, I can't do it. My toes are too cramped if I do it that way. I've got to take the insole out. But it's just a suggestion for some of you that, you know, everyone's feet are different. Lastly, the thing I would say about having the Hefe Lux insole inside your Jordan 1s 
it's gonna reduce the creasing because it pushes your foot a little bit more towards the top of the sneaker. And so almost like a force shield, but a lot more comfortable, it can help reduce the creasing in the toe box because your foot is pushed more to the top of the sneaker, if that makes sense. So that really wraps it up as far as these go. Like I said, the link is in the description below, hefelux.com. Use the code underrated for 30% off through December 4th on their Black Friday sale. Man, that starts today and goes through Black Friday with the code underrated30. Lastly, man, you see the supremely underrated box logo. We got the first official YouTube merch dropping for the channel, man, the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube, the supremely underrated box logo tee. Tell me the black one. Hey, there we go, look at this. Bam. So right now, man, the link will be live on the white and the black joints for the Patreon members, man. If you are subscribed to Patreon, we're giving you guys early access. You should be able to do that. Wait, I can do that right now. The link should work right now. If you're a Patreon member, you should have been emailed the password. You click the link in the description, you type in that password, that secret password we emailed you, and you guys can go in, you can buy one, you can buy both, just to ensure that you get yours, man. These are gonna be super, super limited run. We wanna make sure the people that have been rocking with us for the longest, supporting the channel every month on Patreon, get first dibs at them. After that, we will be dropping both colorways on Black Friday, again, super, super limited. So if you want one, make sure you get in there quick. Black Friday, be on the lookout, following the socials, at OMG, it's TTF, at Most Underrated Podcast, at Dow Palantonio. You already know we drop the podcast on the channel twice a week. We do it live, noon to 2 p.m., Mondays and Thursdays. So if you're not already, get yourself familiar with it, man. We got a lot of great content dropping on the channel. With all that being said, in the meantime, in between time, you get yours, I'll get mine, and I'll see you fools tomorrow. We were so free riding with the top down. Now I'm only fading to the Dude. The worst, the worst shit just happened, bro. I forgot. To, I took a shower right before I came here. I was like, babe, I'm gonna shower and go do the review. I forgot to put the order on. And now I'm in this mother tea that Ah, I burned, I burned two lights, bro. I burned an extra large and a large now. Gosh damn it. Yeah, I smell like, bro, I smell like, this is terrible, bro. We can't, I couldn't sell this to, oh, this is the worst, dude. This is the worst.